the ancient instruments of wind converge from vastly independent tracks toward a nexus of sound and design. Tracks that inevitably led to the small Bavarian town of Valkreiberg, Germany. Mirafone designs and delivers the world's most sought after wind instruments, built with old world craftsmanship and hands on care. Mirafone thrives as a progressive custom design company with a welcoming open door policy. So, this is the main central storage area where all the incoming materials are stored. Basically, we, we can work between four months and six months before all the supplies are used up. These samples show the whole process of the preparation of a bell maker. First he has to cut out, then bend them over, cut some teeth out of one side, overlap them and hammer them to the opening of the bell, solder the seam and hammer it another time. Finally buff them off a little bit so that we get the raw start of a bell. So this is the largest raw brass tubing that we purchased. We make the conical shape ourselves, the tapered uh, shape, which is uh, actually, first of all, in uh, steps. Most of the other manufacturers have to buy conical tubings because they can't make them. We make every conical shape we want to, which means we, can't, we don't have to uh, depend on the standard conical tapers. We can use any taper we need and make them ourselves. Since the raw material is all cylindrical, we need to convert the cylindrical tubing into taper, into, into conical shapes. And this T-bunk, as we say in German, this T-bunk helps us to pull the cylindrical tubing through different opening sizes and thus step by step making it bigger or small on the other end. It's a very strong motor that pulls this chain and the tubing is pulled through this hole here. And I've been told actually that this machine is able to pull your car through this hole and without stopping ever. So it's very, very strong. This is our latest technology, our freezer, where we actually can fill the raw tubing with liquid nitrogen, then freeze it. And as soon as the nitrogen is solid, we can bring it over here and bend it into shape around this tubing. In this area, we keep our biggest and heaviest molds and toolings for tuba parts, basically again bottom bows which are the largest and heaviest of those molds and this is actually the capital of Mirafone, of um, our legacy and the knowledge design of former models that we pass on to the future generations and through these molds we will be able to make the same model in 50 years, in 100 years, they last forever actually. Finally, the bell of a tuba decides or determines the sound of a tuba. That's how we get our famous Mirafone sound on those horns. You can see how he's annealing a tuba bell. Um, the molecules kind of get uh, moved around and the annealing helps the material to get smooth again to especially resonate in a very a musical way. And one of the main differences is that Mirafone uses annealing every time a major step uh, within the process of making a bell is accomplished. It'll be about six to seven times that each tuba bell is completely annealed by getting it glowing and cooled off again. We are in the valve making department here and uh, the valve setup determines the core and the quality of the sound of a brass instrument. We have two different valve systems. One is the rotary valves and one is the piston valves over here. The rotaries are probably a little more suitable for slurred passages and the pistons for the clarity in fast technical passages. Each of our workers is an artist in his own way and the knowledge and know-how that he brings along and learns through experience through doing it is unreplaceable. It's not about business, it's about people. Since the early 1800s, in what is now the Czech Republic, Graslitz was home to the makers of the very best wind instruments. But with the 1940s, everything changed. And with the close of war came a new threat. Following freedom, the artisans fled.
But in 1946, within a former ammunition factory in Waldkreiberg, Germany, 13 of the Groslitz refugees formed a workers' co-op, the production cooperative of Groslitz instrument makers. It was a long name for a little company short on tools, but the artisan's experience was matched by a burning motivation. Buoyed by success and recognizing the freedoms bestowed on them by fate, the co-op chose a new persona, pairing the root of miracle with phone, from the Greek word for sound, miraphone, a miraculous sound. Forged of ice and fire, the miraphone name becomes legend, etched not in stone, but with indelible marks of confidence, letter by letter, for generations to come. Each horn has its trial, proving its flawless quality. No one can say what the future will bring as the art evolves. But the promise of Miraphone is this. Undiluted quality brings an undiminished value. A value that will lend itself to time and to those who yearn to take the wind itself to new heights.